from our assistant district attorney, Heather Cruz. Uh, is there anything from the DA's office? I'll just very quickly say, oh, again, my name is Jennifer Cruz. I'm one of the supervising uh, ADAs in the office. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful summer. Our office, as you know, we uh, recently had a new district attorney, District Attorney Clark. We are expanding at a rapid rate. Uh, she has um, created new units. We have now have a conviction integrity unit. We have a civil litigation unit. We now have a mobile command center out in Rikers Island where our ADAs are actually present on the island and in cases. And we're just doing everything you know possible to see that justice is served uh, at every corner. And I just want to mention one case that I was personally involved in, and I think one of the community members brought it up uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, back in May, there was a case where um, a husband, she was friends with Paul from his wife's name, and she was in the process of being raped and killed. Uh, when the husband arrived, he saw his wife half dressed, and um, she pointed out her assailant. He uh, then, there was an assault that occurred within the elevator. I was assigned by the I investigated that case, and with the help of many, many people, um, we were able to have a very long, hard conversation with the family of the deceased, who, um, unfortunately, the deceased himself had a very, very long history of um, mental illness, and things didn't go right for him. And so he, that night, was greatly under the influence of drugs. Um, he had, a, you know, just really tremendous illness, and uh, after speaking with the family, I'm happy to say that we were able to dismiss the case against the husband, um, who would have otherwise been charged with that sort of homicide. Um, so Good. that's just another example of how justice is served. It's not always you know, the way you think it would turn out, but I was very happy and proud to have been a part of that. Um, and so, you know, I'm always here for you guys if you need me. Um, my number is 718. 
All right. Again, thank you so much for everything that you've done. I'd also like to point out that this box over here, this is uh, for donations uh, for the families that, uh, that died in the earthquake in Italy. So everybody who would like to make a donation, go be shot. Um, okay. Wilton uh, International Business, Gene Francis, Merchants. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Oh, very good. Okay. Congratulations uh, to the uh, Deputy Inspector. Um, spent the afternoon with uh, your guys. I want to thank Community Affairs. We uh, cleaned up some graffiti and had a great time doing it. So uh, thank you guys. And uh, Alton's looking pretty good graffiti-wise. A couple of rooftop areas that we're going to take care of eventually. Hopefully before the, the weather gets warm. Um, oh, on, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> no, before the weather gets warm. It's cold now. It's freezing. <laughs> anyway, uh, we put up Mother Teresa uh, on Sunday. The, uh, the first day. It's funny because we have cold in Avenue, so I thought you were telling me where I live. <laughs> 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 Before it gets cold, we'll be all serious. Um, so we, we started Mother Teresa. It's not completed yet, uh, but the portraits are up. We're going to do some fine tuning and, and tweaks to it, and we're going to uh, add some accessories around it to, to fill up the wall and uh, possibly add a quote or two uh, to, the, to the wall as well. So if anybody has any ideas, feel free to reach out to me. And if uh, any of the, the neighboring communities want a mural for the because we found that it is a truly helpful. Every time we do one of these murals, we hear, oh, someone's going to tag it, oh, someone's going to tag it, it's a matter of time. Uh, no, not the case at all. This is our third one. All three of them look beautiful, and it's, uh, it's a great boon to the community because, believe it or not, a few people come to the area just to look at these uh, works of art. So uh, if any other uh, community leaders are interested, feel free to reach out to me. I reached out to Night Tech. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the, our last meeting, uh, but just in case, uh, they gave us a great package discount for uh, security cameras. So um, we're going to talk to a couple of the council members, maybe for uh, the, the budgeting session. Uh, we'll be able to pay for uh, new storefront cameras, so stores that don't have cameras uh, in the front of their, their uh, establishment will have them uh, hopefully by the end of next year. When the weather gets warm again. <laughs> and uh, look at that, October 22nd is our uh, Halloween parade. So just want to put the precinct away and have a, a bunch of rowdy kids walking up and down there with us. Thanks. Association. We advocate for the Palm Parkway North, Allerton um, section of the Four Knife Precinct. Um, if you'd like to attend our meetings, we're actually meeting tomorrow at the Sands, 815 Allerton, and we're going to be meeting on the last Wednesday of every month. Tomorrow, our council member Richie Torres will be there. Uh, I would like to thank the captain um, for answering the phone over the summer, being helpful in a lot of situations. Um, as congratulations on the 
um, community outreach efforts. And on behalf of BPEC, I was proud to write a letter to the commissioner a couple months ago um, asking that the commissioner promote him to deputy inspector. And it's actually good to know that the commissioner and the people at the top brass of the police department listen yeah. to community residents. So congratulations, Captain. Um, not the bad news, not bad news. Um, <laughs> yesterday, I'm sorry, um, well, Monday morning, late Sunday night, uh, I got a message that there were sh um, shots at Boston Road and Wallace Avenue around 4 a.m., either four shots or six shots. Again, not sure if they were shots, but um, do you know anything about that? Well, we, respond we responded to that location, and we, we generated a complaint before we were able to uh, uh, collect any uh, ballistic evidence, so we okay. just generated the uh, complaint. No injuries? Or? And we're going to investigate. Okay. There were no injuries? No injuries, no. Thank God. Okay. Um, 2541 Olinville, is any um, update on um, if the uh, perp was? Um, we're still investigating. Um, we have a person of interest identified, and the, the flies are circulating. Um, it's just a matter of time for our violent felony squad apprehensive. Okay. Um, I've been communication, uh, in communication about the wearing playground issues. Um, thank you for that. It is still an issue, so um, if you could have the uh, operation set up this week to address that. Thank you. Um, finally, it was um, brought up in the Palm Parkway Neighbor Association meeting last Tuesday. I uh, just wanted to bring it up here in front of all the elected officials. It is indeed the Christopher Columbus High School situation. I have gotten, um, I mean, the captain spoke about it on Tuesday, but there's been a lot of complaints about the kids um, exiting from Columbus High School. We have all the elected officials here. I was involved in the school two years ago. Um, it was, it started to be in a uh, disarray back then. I know Councilman Baca's office with Lehman High School um, met with all the principals. They did some sort of organizing effort. Hopefully it worked. I'm suggesting that if the same thing can be done with Columbus High School campus, which has uh, Sims, Home, Park Prep, Home Prep Academy, Bronxdale, and two other schools, because I fear if nothing's, again, if nothing's done, we'll be like last October, last October, 3 o'clock p.m., there were, um, someone was shot right across the street in Palm Parkway houses, and, you know, I don't think teenagers or kids should have to witness gunfire or hear gunshots, so I would just urge all elected officials to meet, with, have a big group meeting with the PD, whoever, and get them all on the same page and nip this in the bud while you can. Thank you very much.
just um, give me a call. Okay. Thank you. So representing uh, yeah. Senator Thompson? Yeah. Well, okay. uh, re representing the Senatorial District 33, um, Senator Hassel Thompson has gone to work for the governor. He was tapped to be 36. He was tapped to protect her for, for her cabinet, community and home affairs. Donna Drain will be leaving us October the 5th. She wishes you all. She loves you all. If you need her to contact, you contact us. Um, the governor didn't call a special election, but the Senate Minority Leader and District President authorized our office to remain open to December 31st to provide much needed constituent services. Anyone living in 36, and anyone for that matter, come, come, come. Um, Captain, now Deputy Inspector to be uh, Walton, congratulations on a promotion well deserved. You're a, you're a policeman's policeman, and thank you for your service. Um, last week, Zena Twyman, Sylvia Last, and Lou Goldstein and I traveled to Albany for the state committee meeting. Uh, we both got our we both got our trips built, but um, we are we're part of the criminal buffalo. Sorry, we're we're, we're we got um, on those on those criminal justice reform committee, and I'm, I have 100 percent representation, so I will be going to all those meetings. And also to all my brothers and sisters of the Jewish faith, I wish you all of the Shana Tova. Okay, uh, the DA's office uh, community representative, uh, Rashawn Morgan. Rashawn. I'm sorry? Michael Benedetto. Benedetto. Oh, okay. Hi, Martha's office is here too. Sorry, I was waiting to interject. Sorry. <laughs> Full house, Tom, Joe. Uh, Joshua Adams, uh, good evening, folks. I'm from Jimmy Vaca. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying it was, it was, it, it got better off. Um, okay. Yeah. Jimmy Vaca. And Jimmy Vaca's office. Hi. We have Laura. Laura. Laura so we can Sorry, I'm squished back here. Hi, I'm Laura from Jimmy Vaca's office. Um, we don't have any announcements to make. Um, I'm sure my office would like to congratulate the captain. Um, and if you have any issues, you can call our office at 718-931-1721. Thank What's you. What's your name again, please? Laura. Laura. Good to meet you, Laura. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> okay, I think they come to serve everybody. Not the A. Hello, everyone. I'm also from the district attorney's office. My name is Grace Sean Ori. I'm a community agent coordinator. I just wanted to announce an event, and the flyers are at the front. So October is the Domestic Violence Awareness Month, so I will find the victim assistance unit. It's hosting an event. It's called the Many Faces of Domestic Violence. It's going to be held at Community Board 12, October 18th from 6 to 8 p.m. So please pick up some flyers and you can spread the words and come out to combat this crazy issue that a lot of people do not like to speak about. But it's a very wonderful event, and it's a spread the word. Thank you. It's a, very, it's a very important event too, because domestic violence just doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. We can get rid of ISIS sooner or later, but domestic violence is still going to be here. Um, this is from the gallery. Let's see.
well if you know anyone who has someone who's staying with them um, that really needs to leave and get their own place, we will be able to support that person with getting on their feet and being able to get their own apartment. Um, if you know anyone that's been in a nursing home for a significant period of time and they're renting and their income, and yet their income is going towards um, towards the nursing home, so their rent isn't being paid. We may be able to help those people even if they're over income for our program because um, we could justify why, you know, they fell behind in their rent or their income was going to the nursing home, and we may be able to cover a large part of the rental years to avoid um, their eviction so that they can be discharged to their home. We also provide other services, paralegal services. We have a job coach. Um, we work with credit counseling and financial education. We have intensive case management. Um, we help people who had like a severe infestation of bed bugs, or if they were victims of fire, and, or domestic violence victims, and they had to relocate and they need new furniture. We're able to purchase some furniture, and there's other things we do as well. I have these cards in the back. If you have any questions, you can call our office. If you need to speak to me directly, I have business cards, and then we have a brochure that tells you about all the different programs in our division. Thank you. Uh, before you sit down, uh, your organization is well known. Uh, we'll make sure that we have all your contact information. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Heather Guerrero. Guerrero. Hi, everyone. My name is Heather, and I'm visiting today to um, Visiting today. Oh. Visiting Kenny and also Kenny and Rafael. Well, you're finding 49, okay? Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Anytime you want to come here. Thank you. Thank you. And hey, congratulations to you. Dennis Wayo. Yes. Uh, as you know, I live on Boulevard Avenue, right across the street from 83. <clears throat> and the parking situation at dismissal. They park in the driveways. Mm -hmm. And when the people who own the property want to pull into their driveways, you get cursed out. Mm -hmm. And they refuse to move. What can you do to alleviate the problem? You call 911. They don't come. You know? And then they curse you out. And when you respond to them, and they look at you, and you answer them in Spanish, they turn around and say, Holy, you speak Spanish. And when you tell them, Excuse me, point of counsel, Yo no soy pendejo, el pendejo es tú. Okay? You're probably just going to have to deal with that. 
Okay? But violence is never an issue. What I can do for you is this. I can send my traffic unit over there to assist and evaluate the condition to see what we can do to kind of have these vehicles move along. But violence is never an issue. 45 minutes, Captain. Okay. Uh, Dennis. Okay. Tony Panarisi. Yeah. I have almost the same type of problem, and I'm representing some of the tenants that live on uh, Boulevard Avenue, and it's about the body shops that are on Sackett Avenue. They got cars with no plates, no registrations, they got tow trucks parked in the street. It is illegal to have these cars in the street. I called 311, I called the precinct. A couple of years ago, they towed a few cars, and it's back to the same thing. Why does my wife have to park three, four blocks away, and these body shops, XXL, King, and the other guys, putting their cars all over the place with no plate? Shouldn't they have a yard where they should keep right. their cars and not in the street? Right. If your I, car I, gets I, crashed, I, it gets parked on the street. But once, again, <laughs> once again, I agree with you. Um, is this your first time coming to this meeting? Yeah, I've been at other meetings. Is your wife, has your wife ever attended this meeting? No. Nah. Okay, a lot well, of the women just, don't want to attend because they're afraid of retribution from the body shots. Well, let me just take this to you. You can speak to me after the meeting, or you can take them my telephone number down. Because I've been giving my, my telephone number for the last 15 months, okay? I have no problem sending a tow truck and my community affairs office is over here, my conditions on it to remove illegally parked cars. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see I average every two weeks maybe three to four illegally parked cars that have been sold. So take my number down, give me a call, and then I can rectify it. All right? Okay. Got it. These cars that you don't... You, you just asked the question. I gave you an answer. Take your number. Take your number. All right. Get around to the phone. Take your number. So it's going to be 646... Six three four. No, you're not right. No, no, that's no, right. 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 Six four six. Six three four seven one zero five. Yes, right here. Okay. Hi, good evening. Uh, thank you, officers, for your support. Congratulations, Captain. Um, this is my first time at a community meeting, um, and I do have a big issue as to um, the Williams Bridge area. Um, our building is the only building that doesn't have surveillance videos installed. Um, for the past couple of months, there's been break-ins, there's been robberies, hostage situations that um, tenants have been tied up. There's no surveillance, there's no security whatsoever. Um, I wrote up a petition and had it signed by each and every one of the tenants in the building, and they all agree on, um, on, on surveillance being installed. What should I do? Well, after the meeting, I will need you to speak to my crime prevention officer, um, Tyrone Maduro, who so has given a presentation in regards to crime okay. prevention uh, and safety tips. But um, please enlighten me in regards to what person was tied up in the city of the Williams Bridge area, because I have no knowledge of it, because it hasn't been. Williams Bridge is a long road. Whereabouts? That's uh, around Barnes and Matthews, right in between. That building, uh, 2964. Uh, do we know if they're in the, uh, the trespass affidavit program? Tyrone? No, they're not. All right. So, uh, to see Tyrone after the meeting, and uh, maybe we can set up a meeting with your, uh, your landlord, to see if we can get you in the trespass affidavit building. That allows uh, my offices to enter your building. Obviously, you will provide us with a set of keys. We will conduct vertical patrols. And anyone in the building who follows the business purpose gives us the right to, uh, to go ahead and make an arrest. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, two things. Number one, we're still collecting for our raffle. This is how I send out the postcards. Um, <laughs> first day kit, flash light, one gift, one present. So anybody interested in the raffle, please do. And the next thing is. The meeting is going to be over, except the raffle drawing, but we're going to eat. Oh, Push bit. Can I just have your attention, please? Why?
So what I want to say is thank you. This is very important. Um, we've been doing our best, um, and you know, uh, hats off to the other.